Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer this morning, thank you for joining me. I know some of you join me live here on Facebook on the mornings, I know some of you watch back later in the day and some of you watch back when we post this up on YouTube as well, so wherever you are, whenever you're joining us, you're all most welcome. Let's begin with the words from the Church of England's Daily Prayer Services for Advent. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. Let's bring our prayers before God in a moment of silence. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. It was back in October that we began in our morning prayers to do readings associated with the Bible course which some of our home groups have been doing online during the pandemic. I hope you found it helpful as we have um, read along with these, with these sessions. Some of our home groups are reaching their final session this coming week. Having seen everything that's happened in the Old Testament and then in the New Testament, the final session focuses on things that are yet to come, yet to take place, as we look at the final book of the Bible, Revelation. So I'll read for us this morning from Revelation from the first three verses. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of the prophecy and blessed are those who hear and keep what is written in it, for the time is near. Amen. God's word to us in the book of Revelation. If you're familiar with Church of England worship, you'll know that we often say creeds together. A creed is a brief statement of someone's belief, and in this case, the faith of the church. One of the oldest creeds that we say together in church is called the Nicene Creed. It was made at a worldwide council, or a council of the worldwide church, um, back in the year 323. And we still say it today as a statement of our faith in God. One of the lines in the creed says that Jesus will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. This might be a Christian belief that we are less familiar with wherever we are on our faith journey. We know the belief that Jesus was born on earth, because that's Christmas. We know that he died and rose again, because that's Easter. But there's not a big festival of the church to remember that Jesus will come again. But it's something that Christians remember specifically in Advent 
as we look forward to celebrating Jesus' first coming on earth in Bethlehem, we also connect with our hope and longing for Jesus to come again and for his kingdom to have no end. This is one of the things that the book of Revelation can help us with. As we've read, Revelation was made a revelation was made by an angel to Saint John, so that all God's servants would know the things that must soon take place. Many of the images of John's vision are hard to interpret, but, but they've given Christian believers throughout time the assurance that God remains in control of the world and that we must always live ready and expectantly for Jesus to return and bring the full peace and justice of his promised kingdom. This assurance is particularly important for us in such turbulent years as we've had this year. So as we turn to prayer this morning, let's pray that God will give us his assurance that he sits calmly above the stormy seas that we're currently sailing in. Let's pray. Lord God, we pray this morning that we can live lives that are ready and expectant for your coming. Lord Jesus, help us to long for your second coming amongst us. Help us to long for that peace and that justice that you will bring to the whole world. Lord Jesus, help us to place our hope in you even when times are difficult. Help us to place our faith and trust in you, that you sit above all of the troubles of the world, that you see them all, that you feel them all, and that one day you will come again, so that all the troubles will be at an end. And your kingdom of justice and peace will reign forevermore. In your name we pray, Amen. Let's join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God bless you today, whatever it holds for you. Our worship on Sunday, there'll be a service at 9.30, both at St Anne's and at St Mary's. Then there will be our Christmas by candlelight service in the evening. The tickets for that service in church have sold out now. Not that we were selling them, but you needed to reserve a ticket to come to that service. But the service will be available online on Facebook from half past six and might even go live on YouTube. Yeah, it will go live on YouTube at that time as well. So wherever you are, you'll be able to join us for that candlelit service on Sunday evening. We're looking forward to it. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.